CataractCoach.com, Cataract Quiz, Will There Be Lens Milk? Part 2. Look carefully, is this an intumescent white cataract? Look at that. It looks pearlescent. It looks like a pearl. See that, that shimmer on there? There are water clefts that are there. There's liquefied lens material. For sure, this is going to be an intumescent cataract here. So now, putting in some tripan blue dye. I'm trying my best not to say anything about the draping or lack thereof. I'm going to be quiet. I'm telling myself, shh, don't, don't, get, don't even look. Now, here comes the main incision. Getting this incision done. And now, it's going to be lens milk for sure. Going in through the side port with the cystotome. And let's see. Boom, there it is. There's the milk. Of course, there's going to be lens milk here. So let's do a double rexus technique maybe, at least you know, push on that nucleus, get the fluid around it, all coming forwards. But because it looks like a pearl, that's one of the giveaways that this is going to be an intumescent case. So grab me with the forceps, let's move quickly here, get this done before this runs out on you. So okay, baby rexus, let's do double rexus technique, I like it, great idea. And then rotate that around, depress it a little bit, express out all that liquefied lens cortex, Let's see. Now, this is not a championship level of lens milk coming out, but I bet you there's going to be plenty. Now, by manual IA, look at that, going with the IA probe to help evacuate out the fluid. I like that idea. I evacuate the fluid from the capsule bag. Look at that rotation of the lens, too. Getting all that material out, that's going to make life a lot easier. Now, it's depressed. Ooh, going the other way, too. All right, look at this. Thoroughness, thoroughness. So I think this one didn't express a lot of milk, but this is the type of cataract that typically would have a lot of milk, and this is your risk for Argentine flag sign. So to do this double rex technique, I like it. Great job. Now let's continue the case, putting in some viscoelastic. Now you can enlarge that rexus. You can use our system again, just nick the capsule, or you can use these micro sit. Look at those fancy scissors. Well, micro scissors there to nick that capsule, and let's complete this rexus. Now do your five to five and a half millimeter rexus, and you can see your risk of for an Argentine flag sign is essentially zero. So very nicely done, or close to zero. Getting the rexus nice and juicy. I just wonder about the lids, though. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't see any drapes at all. It, I just see like the actual lid margin exposed to the field. Maybe that's okay. I guess. I mean, if, you've, if you had a big bath in betadine or povidoiodine, okay, here comes a groove down the middle, chopping this or cracking it. Let's take a look here. That's a chunky-looking phaco sleeve. Okay, split that nucleus. There it is, down the middle. Look at all the stuff in the tear film. Come on. I clean all that up. Hate to have all that oily stuff in the tear film as you're trying to operate, not just for your view, but just think of all the flora that's on the lid margin that's come. Hey. Cataract coach, you said you would focus on the actual surgery and don't give people a hard time by the drapes. Okay, my apologies. Now, stop worrying about the drapes. Let's go back to our cataract surgery case here. But first, let me tell you about our amazing cataractcoach.com website. So much great material. You will learn so much. It's the best place to search for videos. You have a tough case coming up? Go to cataractcoach.com. Use the search engine, and there you'll find the videos. I promise, way, way better than YouTube to find the videos. Now, cleaning up here, very nicely done by manual INA. And... Look at that, not a whole lot of cortex remaining. A lot of it was liquefied. And we'll finish up this case here. It's a very nice case. And I just wish you would drape. No, don't talk about the drapes. Okay, my apologies. Let me focus on here. Here comes the lens, single piece of acrylic lens going in the capsule bag. Looks pretty good. Get that trailing part of it dialed in. Now we can see our Rex size. Probably going to be, a, I'm guessing, like five ish millimeters. What do you think? Or sub five? Around five ish, maybe a little less. Sealing up the incisions there. Very nice case. Hey, did I tell you about our podcast? It's really an amazing podcast. It's only an hour every week, every Sunday, everywhere where you find your podcast services. The amazing part is we teach you the secrets to success in ophthalmology. Like, I'm totally serious. You will come away a better ophthalmologist. Check it out.